Let's see how we can install Wireshark and how we can trace packets in Windows 10 or Windows 11. First, go to this URL and click on Windows X64 installer. And your Wireshark will be downloaded. Let's wait while this download is complete. Finally, our Wireshark is now downloaded. You can go where the file is downloaded and double click on it or you can just click on open file here and the installer will start. So this is the installer, just click on next. Just click on noted and click on next. So here you don't need to do anything. You just need to click on next. Click on next again. And this is where your Wireshark will be installed. If you don't have storage left in C drive, you can just click on browse and you can choose any other drive that you want but I'll just leave it at default. Now click next, click next again and click install. So finally the installation of Wireshark has started. While this is installing, there will be another pop-up here. As you can see it says NCAP. Just click on I agree and NCAP will also be installed. Click on install and this is needed for capturing packets through Wireshark. So install this too and once this is finished, your Wireshark installation will proceed. Now that is complete and cap one. Now you can click on next, click finish. And as you can see, Wireshark installation has proceeded. Let's wait till this is finished. Finally, our Wireshark installation has complete. Now click on next and click finish. Now Wireshark is installed. Now let's see how we can capture packets in Wireshark in our system. Press Windows key and type Wireshark. Click on this. Let me maximize this. So right now, as you can see, I'm connected to a network here, Wi-Fi network. We get a list of options here of all the networks that we want to trace packets from. And here you can see the inbound and outbound traffic graph. So right now I'm not connected to Ethernet or this loopback traffic. I am connected to Wi-Fi, right? So what I'll do is I'll double click on this. And as you can see, all the packets that are going in and out of my system are being tracked here. Now what I can do is I can go to this thing here and let's say I want to go to google.com and those packets are also tracked here. Now you can stop by clicking on this and you can start again by clicking on this but the current packets that have been tracked here needs to be saved. So you can just click on save and that will be saved and you can open it somewhere else or you can continue without saving. Now there are a lot of packets here so let's see how we can filter through packets. So let's say we want to just check for our web traffic, like right? So for web traffic, the protocol is TCP and the port is 80. So what we can do is we can write TCP and port 80 and hit enter. Or you can click on this, apply display filter. And as you can see, only TCP packets that are on port 80 are shown. So we can, this is R, we can remove this. And again, you can click on this. Or what you can do is you can just write TCP, sorry, TCP, and click on apply filter, and only TCP packets will be shown. So this is how you can install Wireshark and track packets. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.